Bay of Biscay because if you've googled the Bay of Biscay you would have saw big storms, big waves, smashing into ships, doing God knows what. Right, I've actually had to leave right for a sec because the family are currently in there playing bingo and I wouldn't dare have a look in there. It's so tense. Have any of you guys ever been in a bingo? <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Oh my god, today has just been so chilled. I can't begin to tell you. I haven't vlogged most of the day. I've just been chilling with a family. It's been really, really nice. Firstly, slept in. Couldn't believe it. <laughs> slept in. Clocks went forward. Quick one. Just remind yourselves, right, when you are coming on this cruise, the clocks are going to go forward an hour. Make sure you put that in your diary. Um, or make sure you update your phone or whatever you can do because... My phone didn't update, woke up and I was like, oh my God, I've slept in, all the family, oh to be honest, everyone slept in. And it was crazy because when we were walking around at half eight, which was like half nine, this time there was no one around. And I think people were like catching up with themselves because everyone was asleep and chilling, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a really, really nice day. Today we have no plans. We're gonna do a mini ship tour because that's what we always do on the channel on, on the sea day. So we'll have a mini ship tour for you guys. Hang on, I'm, I'm rocking a bit. The ship's rocking. Um, but all the family are at the sports bar at the moment. The Newcastle game's on. So, we're gonna head down there. So if you like this type of content, guys, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. However, though, before we head down and see the family, I've bought me P&O Cruiser ship model. I'll show you at the end of this series, because it's all boxed and I don't like to get it out of the box. It's so good. And my Nana also has had a field day at the cigarette shop, let me tell you, honestly. <laughs> She's very happy. We've got Ruby here as well. And uh, Ruby's just been chilling in our, on our balcony. She definitely loves the balcony. What I actually will say is sometimes the elevators can can take a while, so just prepare for that. Um, we've hit it a couple of minutes ago, we're still waiting. There's not, there's, well, there's two elevators here. Ruby's just dancing. <laughs> and I believe this is where the family are. Let's see if we can, uh, let's, oh, I can hear them before I can see them. There they are. Here's the family. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Right, I've actually had to leave right for a sec because the family are currently in there playing bingo and I wouldn't dare have a look in there. It's so tense. Have any of you guys ever been in a bingo before? Oh my God, because I've never played bingo, so this is all new to me. You can tell my Nana is a, a seasonal bingo player. She was like, she was all chill, she was all happy and then as soon as the lady went, right, the game's beginning, glasses on. <laughs> Five and six, fifty-six. Concentration on these places. <laughs> Three and zero, it's thirty. Two and four, twenty-four. Five and nine, fifty-nine. Four and nine, forty-nine. Three and nine, thirty-nine. I promise these are at random. Two and one, twenty-one. All the sixes, sixty-six. On its own, the number three, four and three, forty-three. All the eights, eighty-eight. Five and one, fifty-one. Seven and six, seventy-six. Flash forward five minutes. Well, actually, flash forward about half an hour. They didn't win, but oh my God, it was so tense in there, so tense. And the lads are watching the Newcastle Tottenham game, and we'll never forget this game. It's Blumen 6-1 in Newcastle. And we are back from the bingo, by the way. <laughs> that bingo game was intense. <laughs> I just, I am never gonna play bingo myself because I just don't have the, yeah, it's yeah. As soon as these sort of playing, the, the the focus on them. Anyway, I thought we don't have any plans today, but I thought we would chat about traveling down the Bay of Biscay because if you've googled the Bay of Biscay, you would have saw big storms, big waves, smashing into ships, doing God knows what. And obviously, we are traveling down the Bay of Biscay today. That's what we've been doing all day. It's been heavy winds. We have felt movement, but it hasn't been bad. And I want to show you what it looks like outside, how it feels, and we'll talk a little bit about that and I'll explain how our day has been. We've got formal nights, so we're gonna start getting dressed, we do need to iron some stuff, and we'll just, we'll kinda like, I don't know, talk you through what it's like traveling down the Bay of Biscay in 
mild to moderate weather. So you can see sea-wise, if you looked at that, you wouldn't even think, well, actually, that doesn't look bad at all. But it's because the camera is not good enough to pick up the water. But if you actually then look to here, you can see we're like smashing through and like the ripple effect is coming all the way at the back. But anyway, I'm gonna take you to the laundrette. We'll show you the laundrette because we've got some stuff to iron. And this is the thing. <laughs> Let's try and find the laundrette. It's usually in the same place, either usually towards the middle or the back. And my uh, my uncle's in a great position because his, <laughs> his laundrette is literally next to his cabin. But uh, we've got a little bit of a walk, but obviously, we do have the bonus of being midship. And here we go. We have found it. Laundrette, 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. We'll uh, open this. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, con. This is huge. Wow, they're not usually this big. Not what I've ever seen before. Well, I tell you what, I can get used to this. I can put this on my own counter and look I can walk over oh, and I can, do, <laughs> I can do my own either this so let me tell you right if you've not been on this ship before this is double I mean triple the size of the the laundrette on Arvia and Iona and I'll probably say quadruple the size of the one on Oceana I've never seen one so big it's a uh, it's a good size this one Anyway, it's four more nights. So before before coming on the cruise, I usually iron all my clothes and you know make sure it's all tidy. But because of the way this cruise has been and it been very last minute from the last 70th, we thought, you know what? Let's just shut it all in the case and we'll iron it once we get on the ship. So that's what we're gonna do now. But then you can see this iron is all new, all good. And like I say, this is this is this is really good for a ship of this age. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. I, I, I just wasn't. I wasn't expecting this at all. We've got our clothes nicely ironed. I just can't get over how quiet that was. So quiet. It's, uh, you don't usually get that on a, on a, uh, but I will, uh, that's definitely another tip, guys. You don't usually find that on a formal night because everyone's got ironing to do. So just be mindful, like maybe give yourself an extra couple hours to get stuff ironed if needed. This is actually currently where we are. So you can actually, oh, there we go. You can actually have the screen on and it'll say like navigation, distance, how far we are from land. It's crazy how much you travel within that short space of time. But what's also crazy is how far we are from land. Bay of Biscay, you know, being fine, being absolutely fine. And because it's formal night, got me tie on. Looking all swazzy. <laughs> anyway, let's go and get the restaurant. We've all got a table for half six. And I love celebrate. Well, I love celebration night sometimes. It depends on what I've eaten on the day. <laughs> wasn't it? And Nan's there having a tab. Oh my god, we it's been so nice, hasn't it? Yeah. <sighs> What's your thoughts on cruising? What's your thoughts on this ship? Um, <laughs> Put you on the spot. <laughs> um, it's actually it's my first PL all cruises. I think it's first. Out of ten? I think an nine because A nine? Because of the, the So why didn't it get a ten, Ruby? The, no we <laughs> <laughs> No, you have to watch until the last episode. Ten because the staff are really nice. Oh, the staff are amazing. 
Yeah, um, Sandy, she's such a lovely person, isn't he? Yeah. Um, Who's our waiter for our table 133? We're at table 133. Yeah. Um, just the staff are all like there to help you, not there, like ready for you. Yeah. And then the ship itself is like really fancy. Yeah. Really nice. Really enjoying it, aren't you? Yeah. But we're actually going to, we're just walking down the promenade now as well because they've actually got it open for the first time this week. <laughs> Con, that's not even funny. Con, that's horrendous. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is gorgeous. I'm gonna do something that's really terrifying, guys. I'm gonna hang you over the edge. Are you ready? Are you ready? That is absolutely crazy. The power me away though it does it blows me away but it's gonna be lovely as well because sun's gonna set shortly oh. do you know everyone says the bay of biscuit is rough this is the thing it can be don't get me wrong it can be but it's gorgeous tonight we're just off towards the right hand side and you can actually see off the ship you can see some of the waves smashing off the front it's, oh, it's so nice so nice I highly recommend guys like on a night you come out and you just look out you just oh, wow. you know it's, it's just gorgeous isn't it sunset will be lush tonight I don't know if you guys can see it it's literally right in the middle of the lens <laughs> but it looks absolutely massive I don't can't I can't tell if it's a cruise ship or if it's something else but it's huge let me actually tell you this as well I am um, one of the things we've not really spoke about on this cruise and I thought we would like have a quick chat about is what it's been like traveling as a family now obviously I mentioned to you in the last vlog obviously we're traveling it's been on our 70th because with the family being here and us just experiencing everything together we're just loving it guys we are we're just loving it and I just yeah and I've met so many of you guys on board which has been really really nice I love I love it when you guys come over and say hi and just watch the videos and we chat about cruising and chat about things that we love in regards to food amazing that meal with the family was gorgeous um, I say this all the time I have a very picky eater in my family Connor he struggles with most food and there's a lot of stuff he can't eat if he can find something on a menu I think most of you guys can he's a veggie who doesn't eat veg? <laughs> That's the best way to put it. So he's like mushrooms, onions, peas, carrots. He literally is. It's really hard to please him. He finds stuff with pea though. The whole family have found stuff. My uncle has said he has never been on holiday and eaten food as good as what he's eaten on here. So for anyone, and, and I know Ventura at the time I'm sailing gets a lot of negativity. The pool's broke. There's a few things wrong with the ship. I get it. I do get it. There's, I've, I've, honestly, before I came on the ship, there was so much negativity around it. All I'm going to tell you is I have found this to be more preferable to, than Avia. I've actually preferred this cruise more than what I have when I was on Avia. So, yeah. I just want to put there's a lot, I just want to put a lot of people's minds at ease because I don't know I, I, I don't I, before, like I said before getting on this ship I said this in the last vlog I didn't do a lot of research um, I didn't even do a lot of research of where we were going guys um, hello <laughs> we're at sea I couldn't tell you where we are but um, yeah there's nothing wrong with this ship it's gorgeous uh, one of my favourite ships one of my favourite ships I've been on anyway we're gonna have to leave this lush view of the Bay of Biscay. And we're gonna have to go into the Havana because the family are all in the Havana right now watching a comedian called Lloyd Davies, I think his name is. But he's the type of comedian, right, that picks on people in the audience and they're the comedians that I just literally try and avoid. But we'll go in now. Um, yeah, we're gonna see plenty more sea in this series. Anyone interested of a Havana is on deck seven all the way at the aft of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> 
When Skippy was the only Australian actor, long before Maureen had passed her driving test. Way back to the room actually um, that, that show was actually good in the end but you can see how rough the sea is just based on just based on this pool right now it's uh yeah it's a bit mad again though i can't get over how nice it's been today it's been such a lovely day and this is one of the best things i'll say about cruising is it's just so chilled i want to speak quietly because it's like it's 10 o'clock people will be in bed now we're uh, docking in vigo tomorrow Oh, I've passed my room. I've passed my room. <laughs> Here we are. This is us. I hope uh, Con left before me, so I hope he's actually still awake. Here we go. Morning. Oh, good evening. Are you in bed? Oh, are, are you in bed? Hold the camera from this angle, because Con's in bed. Con, what time is the Vigo docking tomorrow? 9.30. Oh, so we dock at 9.30? Arrival 9.30. Arrive at 9.30. All aboard 4.45. All aboard 4.45, so we're only getting about seven hours in port then tomorrow. Is that definitely correct? Are you sure? Give me the horizon, I want to check. I don't believe him. Hang on, let me check. Oh, no, it is. So we don't... All oh, right, that's quite a late. That's quite late. Okay, yeah, that, that's a lot later than what I thought it would be. This is our location of the ship, so I don't know if you remember from... Oh, it's gone off. I don't know if you remember from the vlog earlier. We've not actually... We've came, obviously, a long way, but we've not actually moved that much. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do some... Uh, we're actually going to do a room service order, which I know for some years is pretty crazy, but it has been, like, five hours since we eat. Well, since we eat, and it's obviously just, you know, just, just the way I've... Just the way... Just how these vlogs work. Now, the best way to explain room service is you do... So, you can order all the way up until 11 p.m. and there is basically a full menu of options that you can choose from and then after that there's the nighttime nibbles which is basically 11 p.m. till 7 a.m. so if you're someone for example who doesn't want to leave that room and is kind of just wanting to stay in Connor I'll give you that menu just to check uh, just so we get it in in order in time if you're someone that basically wants to chill in your room doesn't really fancy going out, um, which is absolutely fine by the way, I've done that plenty of times myself on cruises. Let's get this tie off. <laughs> now, do you know what, I've enjoyed Formal Night. I've been quite vocal in the past of saying how much I'm not the biggest fan of Formal Night. I like Formal Night, but I hate the, the idea, you know, sometimes when you just don't feel comfortable getting dressed up. And some of you may say, well, just don't sail on P&O, you know, sail on a different cruise line there where it's not as strict. But I love P&O. You know. So I've just kind of, I'm one of these people where, because I love something, I'll just, you know, adhere to their rules and, you know, I do it, but we were talking as a family, should we do formal night again, or should we do in the buffet or something on the second on the second ones? And we've just said, you know what, we're all going to do formal night, because we enjoyed getting dressed up. We'll actually take a quick look outside and see what it's like out here. It's, uh, you may struggle to focus though, guys, because it's so dark. Ooh, yeah, it's quite windy now. I, I, it's really struggling. <laughs> Really, really struggling. It's pitch black out here. Yeah, we'll go 45. It has took 45 minutes, but it is here. So, Con, my treat. You've got some cookies. I'm not going to fill him, Con, because he is naked. Got your brownie. I, I must say, that massive tray for that little thing. Get yourself a nice portion of fries there, Con, but you've got to give me one. This is the main reason why I wanted room service. The omelette. The omelettes are to die for on p &O. And because I'm me, and this is for vlogging purposes, I've ordered myself to <laughs> see see how good it actually is. And as always, blooming gorgeous. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm gonna shoot. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to early vlogs, early content, and things like that. If you'd be interested in Patreon, the link is below. And make sure you come back for the next vlog where we are going to be exploring the Port of Vigo, we're going on an excursion, we're going to an island to do a, a, a nature reserve trek, it's going to be great. And it's our first port of the cruise, so yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys, enjoy whatever you're doing, see you soon, bye. And you can see already where the Ventura is and the distance we've travelled. You guys will know I absolutely love a hike. I love the excursions where it's kind of like, I'm 
go and make your own adventure. Yeah, that's the tractor that's just past us. We were standing at the edge of this cliff and I was having a little meltdown. It's like you weren't allowed in the city. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. This is a family channel. 